Hey, welcome, and we are Joel and Michelle, otherwise known as the Wandering Hearts. Yep, and welcome to Bulgaria. Uh, in this video, we are going to tell you about our experience traveling to Europe in the summer of 2022, and specifically to Bansko, Bulgaria. So if you guys don't know, we've been basically nomadic for the last three years, uh, just about three years, and last two of which have been mostly in the United States. Uh, we've been just kind of wandering about. Uh, of course, a lot of that has to do with the pandemic and also some health issues we haven't had overcome. But I can tell you that we most recently just got a chance to actually book that flight and head to Europe. Uh, we are here in Bulgaria and uh, so yeah, I think probably as you've maybe seen the news, it's kind of been a hot mess lately to, to fly anywhere, um, especially over to Europe. So we did manage to make all three of our flights from Nashville, Tennessee, all the way to Sofia, Bulgaria. So we felt really lucky that we, we were able to get here with no issues. Uh, we've made it to the Minneapolis airport and actually it was pretty easy to get through our checkout and our pre-TSA. We got through all that really quickly. Um, hasn't been too busy today and so far our flight is on time, which is really good because if it isn't on time and we get delayed, that's going to make a whole host of problems. Okay, so we made it on the plane and we are on our way to Amsterdam. Yeah. Not our not our final destination though. <laughs> yeah, we've got a pretty tight uh, connection to go on to Vienna after that. So, so far we're on time and everything is good. So let's keep those fingers crossed. Uh, other than that, we almost didn't quite get on the plane. They pulled us aside because they had some extra verification that we had to do and it turned out to be like our vaccination cards. I'm not sure why, but we have it. So we're so good. there you go, we're good to go. <laughs> so if you're planning a trip to Europe this summer, definitely recommend trying to book a flight midweek, which is what we did. Um, we also managed to make sure that we had a five hour layover, uh, especially since we had uh, connecting flights on different airlines as well. So we flew like KLM to Vienna, and then we had a five hour layover there and then flew Austrian Airlines to Sofia. And uh, we just did not want to get caught, you know, with a delayed flight and you have to miss everything else uh, coming out of Amsterdam since that was been that's been a pretty pretty big uh, messy airport this summer so far. Mm -hmm. So highly recommend maybe doing something similar to that. Ooh. Oh boy! All right, that was a flyby. That was a wasp. <laughs> yeah, stay away from them. So arriving into Sofia was pretty easy. Uh, it's a fairly s small airport. I feel like um, so yeah, we didn't have any trouble. Um, getting in, going through customs. Uh, actually, there was no wait at customs at all when we went through. So that was super easy, got our baggage, and then just had to uh, basically look for a taxi to take us to our hotel. Yeah, so one thing I didn't do is I didn't get any money exchange or pull anything out of the ATM while we were at the airport. I'm not sure why I didn't do that. <laughs> um, so when we got our taxi, uh, you will notice that the taxis here are, Bulgaria is very, cash based for most things um you know accommodations and restaurants a lot of them will take credit cards but uh everything else is cash is very much appreciated and uh so we ended up doing that uh, we did actually have a taxi app that we downloaded called taxi me um which is basically their version of uber or you know a lyft or something like that um because they don't actually operate in bulgaria but again, like I said, we, since we grabbed a taxi at the airport, it was super easy. We didn't have to worry about that. And I actually ended up just paying the guy in US dollars. Uh, fortunately, he accepted those. Um, so I ended up getting him a little extra. For the, he got a good deal on the exchange rate. <laughs> I don't know what to say that. Um, but I think it was only like maybe like 13 US to get us from the airport to our hotel in downtown Sofia. So another thing that we did when we arrived in Sofia is we actually decided to book a stay for two nights. Um, in town, we stayed at a hotel called Hotel Nikki, which was actually a really awesome little place. Um, and we did that because we just wanted to make sure if there was any transportation issues for us getting from there down to Bansko for the Nomad Fest. We wanted to make sure that we had some wiggle room and give us an opportunity to kind of acclimate a little bit to the time zone and 
and get money exchange and all that stuff because Bansko is a smaller town. Uh, it's like a little resort town. The one thing that we usually like to do when we book hotels in a new city is we always make sure to book one with breakfast included. It's just so much easier for us uh, when we get up in the morning so we're not like starving and walking around like zombies trying, <laughs> trying to find food or if we're super hungry. It just makes it so much easier. So that's what we did with our hotel here in uh, Sofia. Uh, at Hotel Nikki, the breakfast was great. Mm -hmm. It was, I mean, pretty really much good. like a kind of American breakfast. I mean, there was uh, eggs, bacon, uh, lots of yogurt. That's very popular here in Bulgaria. There was uh, lots of pastries, fresh fruit. So yeah, kind of everything that you want. Yeah, another reason that we like to do that, especially if we're traveling overseas, is in a place or a country that doesn't, you don't speak the language or anything, it's so much easier because you don't have to stumble out of, you know, out of bed the first thing in the morning and then try to like decipher a new language or figure out, find a cafe and do all that communication. Uh, it's just so much easier just to like walk downstairs and, and have your, have your breakfast and then deal with your day and try to start figuring all the rest of that out. And then one uh, last thing about our hotel is that it actually had a wine bar in it. So it was, had a really pretty little uh, courtyard in the back of the hotel and yeah, we didn't even know it was there. It was just... Yeah, we didn't realize <laughs> it was booking. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we got to try some uh, Melnick 55 for the first time, which is a really popular it's wine here really in good. Bulgaria. Yeah. yeah, it's really good. Um, so yeah, that was, it was just super nice and relaxing and a great way to spend one of our evenings in Sofia. So actually traveling to Bansko is really easy. Um, we basically just went online and got a bus ticket that took us here. It's a two and a half hour trip. And I think it was, uh, what, I think 10 US dollars per person. So about 20 lev. Um, super easy. You can also just go ahead and just go to the bus station and just pay for it at the counter. But in our case, since we had an online ticket, we basically we showed it at the counter and they gave you a, like a proper ticket to get you on the bus. And it was actually a very comfortable ride and really pretty too. You get a chance to see the landscape. So we definitely recommend that and it's easy. It was so easy just to do, to do the bus ride. Mm -hmm. So one of the reasons we went to Bansko, Bulgaria was because of Nomad Fest. Basically Nomad Fest is a big festival for digital nomads as well as remote workers. Um, there's even a handful of people like us that do travel blogging. Uh, so it was really nice to just like kind of come here and have an opportunity to uh, meet other people, do some networking, as well as watch a whole bunch of speakers. Yeah, it was great coming to Vansko Nomad Fest. Uh, we got to meet actually a lot of people that we follow on YouTube. So that was kind of fun to make connections with them. Just, uh, you know, kind of talk to them about their experiences. A lot of them have been traveling way longer than we have. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, and so it was just overall really good experience. I met lots of other uh, fun people and hopefully we'll be meeting up with them in the next few months. As far as the festival is concerned, um, it was actually just a big whirlwind, <laughs> I, big blur because there was just so much stuff going on. Maybe a little too much stuff going on, but um, they had speakers in the mornings and then during the afternoon sessions there were like these unconferences, which were pretty cool. They were just an opportunity for people to, just pretty much any attendee, to come and basically pitch a session and if people wanted to like learn about something that they, a topic that they're knowledgeable about, then they could share that. Um, so that was really cool as well to do those. Um, and then additionally in the afternoons, they had these, um, basically a lot of events that you could do, whether it be horseback riding or river rafting, paintball, all sorts of cool stuff like that um, as well. And the evenings, of course, were a lot more networking, uh, whether it be parties or... Parties. Yeah, basically a Lots lot of, of parties. parties. So, yeah, it was a whirlwind. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't do a whole lot of the activities because we were just, like, worn out. Um, but we did do a really cool wine tour to Melnick, as well as other wineries around Melnick, which is a basically the smallest town in Bulgaria. Uh, also known for the Melnick wine that Michelle was talking about, that Melnick 55. And so that's really cool. And we will have a video about that coming out very soon. So be sure to check into that. We've really been enjoying our stay here in Bansko, Bulgaria. Um, we're actually going to be here for two months. 
Yeah, well, around, three around months in months. total. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been a really great place uh, for us to come and just uh, kind of chill and get work done. Also, we have a beautiful view of the mountains from our balcony. Uh, it's just a really, really lovely town. So we are going to do um, a first impressions of Bulgaria video. So look for that. We're also going to do a little like a uh, tour around Bansko, kind of show you around what it looks like so you can kind of get an idea. Um, and yeah, is there anything else? Yeah. Um, other than that, if you guys have any questions about Bansko, definitely leave them in the comments. Uh, we'll be happy to uh, answer all those or maybe even do a video to kind of help illustrate that. Um, we've got other activities as well planned. So again, we're going to be getting a lot of stuff here, uh, writing a lot of articles about it as well. So be sure to check out our website, wanderinghearts.com, for those articles as well as some of our past travels. Um, I think that's it for now. So stay tuned for those. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow along, and all that good stuff. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Happy wandering. Happy wandering. <laughs>